construct the second meeting. It is 7.21 p.m. We're going to call the Town of Bay of Islands public hearing to order. Uh, roll call, please. Uh, Councilman Yaffe? Here. Councilman Chicoche? Here. Councilman Sauber? Here. Councilman Reed? Here. Councilman Fuller? Here. Vice Mayor Bruder? Here. Mayor Leonard? Here. All present. All right, number one. Discussion and possible action of a resolution to impose a temporary moratorium on medical marijuana dispensing facilities within the islands. Okay. Uh, Motion. Second. I'll second. Any discussion? Uh, you, you want to yeah. do, we have, do we need to go into this drill down detail no. level about what low THC cannabis is? No, just, we try like, to give I'm you the best. I'm going to bring you back to my college. <laughs> 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 that's all I really want about THC cannabis. <laughs> okay. That's what everybody I, I heard. Yeah. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. But well, at the last town council, council, council meeting, we had, what, three, three members, I think, or four yeah. members. And the issue in our town attorney report was that that a lot of the municipalities who tried to get ahead of this issue and tried to anticipate various items ended up doing it wrong and having to rescind all their ordinances. The, the medical um, marijuana uh, amendment and statute that went into effect ultimately gave the municipality uh, by ordinance the ability to ban medical marijuana treatment center dispensing facilities within their town uh, borders, such as ours. So the issue presented to the town council was, does the town council want to ban uh, dispensing facilities or not? You have the right to do it. Uh, many municipalities are considering it, and, and many have. Uh, for example, you can ban them totally or until federal law allows otherwise, like Coral Gables has done. Coral Gables has said we're not going to do it as long as uh, ma uh, marijuana continues to be a Category uh, 1 narcotic, um, and that's the, the approach they've taken. There have been a few municipalities that, notwithstanding their ability to uh, ban uh, dispensing facilities, uh, are going to allow it. So the issue now that it is an option is whether the town council wants to ban the medical marijuana treatment center dispensing facilities. If you permit them, <coughs> you must treat them like any other pharmacy. For all intents and purposes, they have to be treated that way. Um, you, 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 the only way you could limit it, uh, them is to limit pharmacies. Um, you have one pharmacy that I'm aware of in the, in, in the town, uh, and their only other pro prohibition would be that they couldn't be located within 500 feet of the school. So the issue then became, since there weren't enough members to make a, uh, a, a full decision to institute or bring for your consideration a moratorium to give you the opportunity to discuss it, um, if you want to, you could certainly pass this tonight. Uh, and you can also perhaps give, uh, give uh, the town attorney's office guidance because one way or the other, we're either going to have to institute an ordinance which would ban them, or if you're going to permit them, clean up uh, the B1 business district uses uh, to include that as a permitted use. Well, I think our intention last time when we all met was just to make sure we had a little bit of time to talk this over. Right. I think that was really the key here. And, uh, you know, just I know that some a couple of you weren't able to make it, but um, that was really the intention of actually trying to bring this in for the 180-day time period. Yeah, this is not to discuss the actual item. This is just to give us time to be able to sit down and actually really discuss it and have a more term so we can make an educated decision. Sure. So we have one public comment. Yeah, I, I didn't want to suggest no, otherwise, but, but what I'm suggesting perhaps is if you want to give me guidance at the next town council meeting, I can present whatever it is you have an inclination for uh, after you choose to approve this or not. All right. I'd just like to say this discussed again. I would love to see a map with a 500-foot radius, what's considered you know, 500 feet from the school. We talked about that, I think, and we also talked about doing a 1,000 foot as well. We wanted to see what, both both of what it actually included. Yes, we could not institute a 1,000 foot uh, radius. That's a state law, right? 
The state law is 500 feet. It's it's expressly written in the statute. Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, Kathleen. Come on. My name is Kathleen Kennedy, I'm at 9180 North uh, West Bay Harbor Drive. I do marijuana every day. This is it right here. I get it online. It's 5% uh, dr- uh, uh, um, marijuana in here. Thanks. <laughs> You know what? It works. It releases my author. I only the only thing wrong with me medically is arthritis and two fingers. And I have to tell you something. This is absolutely amazing. <coughs> Floridians voted for marijuana. We all in our back in the day smoked a little weed. I did. I'm not ashamed to say it. But right now I'm getting to be an old lady and I have arthritis. And I want you to have an open mind. Whoever brought this to the table, congrats to you. My heart goes out to you. Because there's a lot of elderly people who need this. I would prefer this than happy hour, in all honesty. <laughs> and you all know how I like my happy hour. So I want to thank Linda Zilba, who gave me this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Linda. <laughs> and I order it online. <laughs> and I'm, I'm doing marijuana every day. <laughs> First of all, it's five percent marijuana, ninety-five percent hemp. There are no hallucinogenics in the marijuana that's in it. If you notice, Paul now walks without a cane since he's been taking it. So you can't get high, and it doesn't make you hungry. And you didn't inhale. Anyway, have an open mind. This is really for elderly. I'm getting old, and this really helps my arthritis and my fingers. The only place, the only thing that's wrong with my body is this finger and that finger. And this thing, throbbing at night, helps me. So open mind, okay? Thank you. Bye. Right. We're going to get the highest viewership we've ever had for these <laughs> <laughs> I want a copy of this. <laughs> Best meeting I've ever been to. I think that there's an, an important point to make on this. What's coming before the council is not approval or denial as to the use of it. But, but just so that everyone's clear, it, it is a state law. It was passed with over 70% of the vote. We can't touch that. Individuals can use it per the state law. But what's coming before us is actually having a dispensary within our municipality. Right. But but really, the item is just the temporary moratorium so we can have the discussion. So, okay, we'll so we can discussion. Itself. Yeah, yeah. So, um, because otherwise, if something comes in beforehand, we have a problem. So, right. so we don't need a roll call. We can just say, oh, all right, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone against? All right. All right. Um, can I have a motion and a second to adjourn? Uh, before, you, before you before you adjourn, I just wanted to inform you that I have had a couple of serious inquiries about it already. Oh, no. What, Wait, what, what were we talking about? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're adjourned at 7.29 p.m. All right. Give you a couple of minutes. 